Okay, Micah chapter 3. Moving right along. As the Lord will have us to move in studying the scripture. And I said, Micah, I pray you, O heads of Jacob, ye princes of the house of Israel. Now he's speaking to the leader. Those in charge of Israel. <coughs> Is it not for you to know judgment? Is it not your responsibility? Don't you? Aren't you? Should you know what is right and wrong? How about putting that to the American government? I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat, either or. You know? i got one question, and I'm going to leave it alone because abortion is murder, but i got one question. How come the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade under the Biden administration and not under the Donald Trump administration? How about that one? How come Donald Trump allowed abortions to still happen? In his four years? Huh? I know Biden's trying to get it back. He needs to get in the Bible. Who hate the good, this is the leader, this is America, and love the evil. If you couldn't put a verse that's on America today, and the thing that is, I'm offended. The white, per, the white man cannot do anything, but the black man can do whatever he wants. The white man has no civil liberty. Who pluck off their skin from off them. Now what he's what he is put in Israel to as sheep. John chapter 10. And here's a sheep. Here are the shepherds. And their flesh from their bones. So instead of fleecing the sheep for the wool, they are slicing the sheep open for a barbecue. Who also eat the flesh of my people, and that's not literal, and flay their skin from off them, they break their bones so they can't move about and chop them in pieces as for the pot as flesh within the cauldron to boil to make a stew. Listen, the pastors, the leaders of a nation for its citizens are supposed to help and protect not devour and break down the people. The American citizens, we fought the, the, the Revolutionary War against England over because we didn't want to be taxed over the tea. And you're taxing pot to tax on top of the tax on top of the tax, and now you're complaining about your gasoline, which is overtaxed. And they purposely make prices so high. And they allow inflation, they allow the overcharging. I mean, if your government really cared about you. And listen, I worked for one store, it was a home and auto store, and they sold a lot of crap. It did not meet what the expectation of what the product said it was. It didn't work, that's what I'm saying. We sold stuff for automobiles that was illegal to be on automobiles. The government allows snake oil. People to waste their money on diet products that don't work and will never work. 
The government allows these shysters in religion to operate and swindle and deceive. We're going to get that in a moment. The people. They're making a citizen stew. What would you call that? Isn't the fact that America is called the great melting pot? Ah, oh, yeah. You put people in their little classes and they can't survive. You know, it's funny, when I grew up as a child, it was it was a saying that, that died as I was growing up. Any American child could grow up to be the President of the United States. Now you have to be lawyer, you have to have X amount of education, you got to have X amount of supporters, you got to swindle enough people for, for campaign funds. You're never going to get Joe Small Plumber in the White House. Because Joe Small Plumber would help the people. Because Joe Small Plumber knows about trying to run a business, knows about, hey, I got hard times. We got times we ain't got the money. We got times that, you know, because he ran a business. You got people in the government today of America, they don't know nothing from nothing to be nothing to be nothing to be, tell you what they're... They make laws about things that they don't even know about. And they'll never learn. Then shall they cry unto the Lord. This is the leader. In God we trust. Oh God, help this nation. God, help me, I'm in trouble. But he will not hear them. Isn't that funny? God is all hearing. God is all... God's not a statue. His ears are not plugged. My God hears my prayer. He may not answer them right away. He may not answer it with a yes. But he hears. Micah says that these people that devour the Jews now remember, these leaders of the Jews are devouring Jews. We're looking at Israel and Judah. What did God say to Abraham? What did Isaac say to Jacob? I will curse them that curse you. That curse goes for the Jew for the Jew. Because these people, the leaders of the nation of Israel have cursed Israelites. God says, you're going to call upon me. You're going to have trouble. The Assyrian army is going to come. The Babylonian army is going to come. I ain't going to listen to you. He will even hide his face from them at that time. You know what God did when, when, when the Assyrians took Israel and the Babylonians took Judah? I'm not looking. Don't, shut up, I'm not listening to you. You know what other point in time that happened? Eli! Eli, Lama Subjectini! My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And I don't care what you preachers say. God turned his back, God turned off the lights, and he didn't hear his son when sin came upon him. That's how serious sin is. When God realized that Adam and Eve had sinned against him. Yet yeah, God's merciful. God is tender. God is long suffering. He said, get out of the garden. When Lucifer sinned against God in iniquity, he said, get out of heaven. And when man sins and he rejects Jesus Christ, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That's some serious business. Don't ever get to the point where God's not going to listen to you. And Jeremiah, Jeremiah tells that God told Jeremiah at one point, don't even pray for them. I won't hear it. 
you're in some serious trouble. As they had behaved themselves ill in their doing. Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophets. Now here comes religion. Now Israel had, you know, this is Jerusalem too, so these are the Levites. What God had is he had the, he had a church state system, America. There ain't no church of state, no church of state. God had a theocracy. That means God is in control. God is the ruler. Until Israel said, we want a king like the nations. Then they got King Saul. We ought not to be saying in November, oh, we want a Democrat, we want a Republican. We ought to be saying, God, we want you. In God we trust. Which one? The Mormon God? Jehovah Witness God? The Catholic God? The Muslim God? The atheist? Don't have a God? Evolution God? All the gods of India? Which one? The Baptist God? God bless America. Which one? You know Satan blesses too? Hey, you fall down and worship Satan, he'll give you all the kingdoms. I bet you most of your presidents fell for that one. I bet you Adolf Hitler fell for that one. I bet you Constantine fell for that. Look at all the blessings they got. Look at all the countries they got. It didn't last. So we have the nation of Israel, they have the priests under God. And then when God speaks, he speaks to the priests. And then under the priests you got the prophets, and they're out there telling you God says you're in trouble. You need to repent. Micah, Isaiah, Jeremiah. What to do to get right with God. Listen, those are the street preachers. Those are the ones that come knock on you. How are you doing? I'm here to tell you about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here to ask you, have you ever trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior? Those are the prophets in the time that we're looking. Now, there are no prophets today, but I can tell you prophecy. A man said in Sunday school, oh, there's no prophets. I told, said, listen, I can tell somebody if you're lost where you're going to go. I can tell somebody if you're saved where you're going to go. I can tell you how long the, the, the tribulation period is going to last. I can tell you how long the millennium is going to last. I can tell you what happens after the millennium. I can tell you about the new heavens and new earth and new Jerusalem. Those are prophecies. And then you got false prophets. And you got the false priests of Israel and the golden calf. They're the liars. And you got them in the pulpits in the world today. They're the liars. That make my people err. They are born again, saved Christians in an assembly in a church under a man. Worse if you're under a woman. And they get up and they hear errors. They hear lies and deception. Oh, Jesus Christ died on Good Friday and he resurrected on Easter Sunday. Ah! Three days and three nights! Like Jonah. Oh, there's no such thing as Jonah. That's a good story. We're going to have a happy birthday on Jesus' birthday, December 25th. I just love you guys as my congregation. You're, 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 you're always in my thoughts and all that. I just don't pray often for you. I don't know where my prayer sheet is. I ought to pray a little more. I've heard two preachers say that. One of them, well-known name. He said, he told someone one time, that somebody would say, you know, preacher, will you, will you pray for this? 
He, he says, you know, I pray right there because I'll forget. You don't write it down. I'm taking gospel tracks out of my box. Yeah, what's your name? And they're in my prayer list of people over the years. Uh, 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 there are names of people I met at Publix. There are cashiers we met. If I didn't remember their names, my wife remembered their names. I know two pastors that come up. Oh, let me forget. Uh, I don't have enough time. I don't pray a little more. Uh, okay. And then you call the people, you got the wrong Bible. That's definitely an error. Preacher, yes and that. Well, you know, this word here, I never used that word. Uh, my Bible, the King James Bible said, in the excess. We could use excess all the time. You know, those gasoline prices are in excess. Boss, that work is... Excessive amount of work. I'll do my best. Those are the words found in the King James Bible. I don't forget what he said. And bite with their teeth and cry. Peace. Oh, there you go. That's the Catholic Church right there. That that idiot Pope will get he'll bend down, kiss the ground where he lands, and peace and peace and peace. And a whole book, a Fox's Book of Mars, all the times he killed Bible-believing Christians. The Inquisition is all the people the Catholic Church has tortured and killed. And, and, and the Crusaders that went into Israel, to Jerusalem, killed. So they can get the Holy Land. He's beyond. That's the words of the Antichrist. He's going to bring in peace. And he that putteth not into their mouths See, he'll cut you open. He'll tear your flesh like the leaders. I can't eat it. We have a religious dietary. We can't eat no meat on Friday. We're not even allowed to have meat at all. They even prepare war against it. Wait a minute, I thought they said peace. So they don't even know what peace is as they plan out the war. The prophets are doing it, not the leaders. You know how many wars at that Catholic church? Do you know that the Mormons, as they went to Utah, they caused many wars? Their leader, not Brigham Young, the other idiot, get his name, not worth knowing, died in prison when all the husbands of the wives that he stole beat the crap out of him. Excuse my Oriental French language, but that's what that's what they ought to have done. Therefore, night shall be unto you. Oh, good night. Ye shall not have a vision. It shall be dark on you. So what he's saying right now, the prophets that have a vision, well, you've been such a false prophet, God said, I'm turning out the lights. You're not going to see nothing. And you're, it's going to be like night. And ye shall not divine. You're going to open up the page in the newspaper for the horoscope, and it's going to be blank. It's going to be all black ink. The press ran. And this is what happened to King Saul. He so rebelled against God and the Word. He went looking at God at the Philistines to come. What are we going to do? Urim, Thurim. God? Prophets, you want to come here and help me? Prophets? You want to get the tea leaves? God did not speak to King Saul. He had to go get a witch. And he outlawed the witches.
and a dead man had to speak. And the sun shall go down over your prophets, and the day shall be darker. They're not going to be able to tell you nothing. There are people in the ministries today, oh, and what they say, they don't know what they're talking about. Oh, there's an earthquake over here. There's an earthquake over here. Jesus is good. Yeah, but that's the wrong. Those earthquakes in Matthew are tribulation passages. You're misinterpreting the scripture. You're teaching the people error. You have not rightly divided the word of God. You're going to be ashamed because Matthew is not the Christian. It's written to the Jews. One of the prophets that we are in, I think it was Micah, but I forget which one it was, Amos maybe. There's going to be a time, there's going to be a famine for hearing the word of God. I've heard preachers say, there's going to be a famine of the word of God. No, that's not what the scripture says. You're deceiving the people. It says hearing the word of God. I sit in a church, they don't have the King James Bible. You're not hearing the word of God. Look at the NIV, ESV, PDQ, UCU. I don't care what it is. That's not the word of God. You're not hearing it. I'm talking about Baptist churches. I don't care about the other ones. There are people sitting in churches today and they get nothing. They've been deceived. They've been lying to And they think everything's great. They think they're wonderful. They think, oh, then you wait to Judgment Day. There are going to be a lot of people at the Great White Throne Judgment. Hey, wait a minute. I thought I was saved. Then I say a prayer. Then, oh, then I walk the aisle. Then I... will be to the man that led that man astray. Then shall the seers... The seers be ashamed. The diviners confounded. Yea, they shall cover their lips like a person that has leprosy. Unclean! Unclean! For there is no answer of God. So we've seen God say, I'm not going to listen to you. We've seen God say, I'm not going to talk to you through the prophets. You are in some serious trouble. You have no help. It'd be like you are in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You have no life jacket. You have no life preserver. You have no life raft. You're there bopping in the waves. And they send one helicopter to come try to find you. You know what the odds are? But truly, I am full of the power of the Spirit of the Lord. That's like hey, I'm speaking. I'm the right one. <laughs> Boy, does he got some nerve. You know, people come up to you and they come up to me. You think you're the only one that's right. My case says, yeah. I am the only one that's right. <laughs> How's that? And of judgment. Judge not me to be judged. And of might. To declare unto Jacob his transgression and Israel his sin. That's what God told Isaiah. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people their, their transgression. People tell me, I'm a street preacher, you're too loud. You turn people away. I let my light shine. Do they know you're a Christian? No, I let my light shine. You're a nightlight. Go unplug yourself. Your job to get out there and preach sin. Your job out there, Jesus says, is to preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to Scripture. 
and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Why? To seek that which is lost. He's the Lamb of God who's taking away the sin of the world. Oh, come to church. Will you come to church? That's not what the Bible says. They're going to come to church Sunday. Woo and they die Saturday night and go to hell. Well, they said they were going to come to church. You see, you think salvation church, 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 church. No, the church is when you get saved. And it's not a building. All are welcome. Not in the body of Christ. Not at the rapture all are welcome. Hear this, I pray you. Ye heads of the house of Jacob. That's the rulers and leaders. The princes of the house of Israel. That abhor judgment and pervert all equity. Equity is unpartial. They abhor rightful judgment. Well, you're a sports player. Here's a pat in the rear end. Okay, go. go. Oh, you got Academy Ward. Go ahead, I don't see nothing. Oh, you're a famous Republican. Whoa. Well, you're black. You've been deprived. You know the law says you got to hire a minority. I'll tell you what the minority is in America. It's not the black man. It's the Christian man that's trying to work his family and trying to do right before the holy and righteous God. He's the one that's the minority. That goes to church and tries to serve his God, right? According to what the Bible. That's the minority. It gets me more, you know, the, the perversion of judgment. You can't say the N-word. Have you heard their music? You know how many times the N-word comes out of their stereo? Well, we were, in, we were on a street preacher one time. They had his car pull up, and he pulled over, and, he, and that music had the N, 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 N word. There was a cop over it. I said, officer, come here. He said, yes, sir. Is that a problem? Yeah, I said, There's that, that, that stereo is playing the N word. We're not supposed to say the N word. Well, they're allowed to. Wait a minute, officer, hold on. If I said the N word, I could be in trouble with the law. Yeah. Well, thank God for freedom of speech. Cop walked away, shaking his head. Where the people of fame and honor and wealth, if the glove don't fit, you got to quit. You, you mean the glove didn't fit? The glove didn't, I can't do my finger. The glove didn't fit? Yeah. Well, he's a movie actor. They build Zion with blood, murder, crimes of pain and suffering. Workplace accidents where the conditions are horrible. And occupational doesn't do enough in force. Oh, after the accident, now, now we'll, we'll put the, the hinges on the barn door. Now we'll put the latch on, on the barn door. All the animals are gone. And Jerusalem with iniquity, sin. You know, when I grew up, I, I forget what, but th there was a song there that we built this city on rock and roll. I don't know who sung it. I'm sorry, I, I can't give you the credit. But I remember, we, we built this city on rock and roll. If you built your city on rock and roll, that's sin. Because you know what rock and roll means. You know where that DJ, I believe it was Chicago, coined the play of two people in the back seat of a car, usually probably fornication. 
or adultery. That's what rock and roll means. We built this city on fornication or adultery. Because there'd be no reason why a husband and wife would be in the back seat of a car. There are churches that build their, their ministry on Christian rock and roll. Because we want to get to the team. We legally stole the land from the Native Americans. I forget his name. I got to write his name down. I had it in my other Bible. The new one I don't have. But there was a, there was a missionary that fought for the Native Americans. And when he got to Washington, D.C., and he petitioned the government for him to go help, he was appalled on how... The name's on the tip of my brain. On what and how we treated the Native Americans. I'm going to tell you something. The American European is going to reap what he sold. And what we've done to the Native Americans will come back in American's face with more tomatoes than you had and planted in the first place. I like tomatoes. You think the treatment and the murder and the rape and the enslavery that we did to the Native Americans and the Africans. Do you think God, in his righteousness, oh, they're Americans, excuse them, Gabriel. Oh, no, 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 no. The heads thereof judge for reward. Oh, that's our government. Big business. Corporate companies. A president who's gone bankrupt three or six times owns real estate. You don't tell me he didn't get his money by a lawful and right petition. Divorced three times. Bankrupt six times, I think. You Baptist churches won't even let him to be a member of your church and you want him to be the Messiah of America. There are judges that take bribes. There is justice. Hey, if you pay me, I'll get you off. This judge that did this famous case of blah, blah, and blah, blah has written a book and is a top seller. The priests, they're a teach for hire. Beyond the money that and the, and the offerings that God told them they could have, which is the best offerings, which is the 10% offering of the nation of Israel in general. They go to all these churches and gather money. Meanwhile, as they're a pastor of one church, and they're going all over the place, their church is suffering. Their church, they're without a pastor. But he's a pastor there. He's now preaching over here. He's teaching over there. He's teaching over there. He's teaching. Listen, great name preachers I know have done that. I know a family who's suffering. They with a child and it was serious and ended up dying. He was over there. He was there. He was over there. He was over there. This family is having troubles in Prague. I, I, I had this very same preacher. He come to my to my church in Connecticut. And, the, and our pastor got up to the pulpit and said, if this pastor is on a phone in the parking lot or somewhere like this, please do not disturb him. He's got serious business at his home church. He shouldn't have been in Connecticut. He should have been at home. At his own church. But he's teaching for hire. You're either a pastor or you're an evangelist. You're not both. 
the profits, the buying for money. You know, they got the, the little boobs at the flea market. I love them. When I we used to go and I could walk, they had this one little. I picked my head in there and say, "Hi, did you know I was coming?" <laughs> and they always had somebody at the table. Bye. So if you if you give me money, ten bucks, whatever it is, I read your tea leaves. I'll read my crystal ball. <laughs> Nancy Reagan had a spiritual diviner that the uh, uh, Secret Service had to plan the, the, the activities of the president around her seance, whatever she did, in the White House, in God we trust. And Ronald Reagan to the Republicans, I mean, he was the second coming of all the second comings of whatever second comings there were to be. Yet will they lean upon the Lord? Will you trust the Lord? Will you put your faith and trust in the Lord? What happened when Moses disappeared for 40 days? Aaron. Yes. We don't know what happened to this guy Moses. Will you make us gods? Sure, give me your... Give me your golden earring. I showed you the pastor should have left the group. How about Joshua? This these group of people came from the land of Canaan, I forget what. And they make a lead with Joshua. They weren't supposed to. Did Joshua lean upon the Lord? Who are these people for real? No. Did Joshua say before going to AI, Okay, Lord, we're ready to go fight, fight AI. Ready to go? No. What? What happened? What's wrong, Lord? No, there were men killed until Joshua got into the What's going on, Lord? What happened? Here? What? The Lord said, there's sin in the camp. I can't bless you. How about Adam and Eve? Did they lean on the Lord? Lord, this... Now, I don't know if it was hot or not, but this serpent is talking to us. I don't know if that would have been clue number one. I don't know if the animals talked to Adam and Eve, but here's the serpent. I'd be like, uh, Lord, <laughs> depending on the circumstances, I don't understand. Lord, this serpent's talking to us, and the very first thing he said, yea, has God said, help what do you think things have been a lot different? Jesus said that God had already made hell for the devil and his angels. Can you imagine if Adam and Eve would called on God and say, God, we need some help here. This guy is questioning what you said. I'm trying to have a Bible study with my wife. I tried to tell her that tree you said don't eat. He says, yeah, as God said. Could imagine maybe the fact is that God would have threw Satan, the devil, in the lake of fire and his angels at that point to help the human race. That'd be different. And say, is not the Lord among us? Not when Micah said, I ain't going to listen to you, the Lord said. I ain't going to hear you. I ain't going to listen to you, and I'm turning my face on you. You know what the men of Nineveh that people don't believe? You know what they did? They got down and they fasted. They got sackcloth. The king took off his robe. He got down on his knees. He got the animals. This is the same nation's going to take God's people. Can you imagine the lesson they taught Israel when they got, hey, you know, if you would have done what we did when that mean, nasty Nook Jonah came here. No, we don't believe in Jonah. Any prophet come out of Galilee? None evil can come upon us. That's America. 
nothing's going to happen to us. We're America's strong. God bless America. I'm proud to be American. My pastor wears a tie of his baseball team. Doesn't wear one any other time. We quote from the wrong Bible. American strong. A liberty. Justice for all. <laughs> the criminal has a right to a phone. The criminal has a right to a lawyer. <laughs> Not the, not the, not the victim. You see, the fact is, America is in the place where Israel is before Assyria came. America is in the placement of Judah before Babylon. You know, you know, where America's future is coming. The enemy. Is, I don't know who the enemy is, but the enemy is coming. Because if it don't come into America. God's going to have to apologize to Israel and, and Judah. He's going to have to apologize to Solomon and Gomorrah. He's going to have to apologize to, to Belshazzar and Babylon. He's going to have to apologize to the people of Babel. He's going to have to apologize to Rome. He's going to have to apologize to Adolf Hitler. And he ain't going to apologize. Because he didn't do nothing wrong. You need to study old history. I wonder how Adolf Hitler thought as the war went on. There's a war. Hey, we're doing great. We're doing great. Alexander Great. Hey, more, more, more. Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field, destroyed, broken up. Go in there with the plow. Tear it up. Jerusalem shall be heaped. That's a tell. A tell is a heap of a destroyed city upon a destroyed city that they dig to find archaeological. You see, when you come to these tells, archaeology, you may have two, three, ten, twenty cities there. All of them destroyed on top of each other. Tel Aviv. Well, there's more of a Levis under that one tell. And the mountain of the house. Well, there's Jerusalem. As the high places of the forest. Empty, you know. Trees. There's no building. When a nation and God's people and a nation goes against God and his word, man, he calls in. What's Babylon today? What's Babel today? You ever seen the pictures of Rome and the Colosseum? There's not many much entertainment going on there. You ever see the Ephesus? I mean, when you got a Bible and they got pictures, they'll show you this is the Ephesus, this is the Colosseum, and there's not much going on anymore. By nations that destroy by a holy and righteous God. That's all because of sin.